wanted to give the butterfly a time to get across the screen there. But uh, welcome everyone to Verdant Skies. This is a pretty cool game. I've had my eye on it for quite some time. I uh, followed it on Steam. I've been following the uh, team on Twitter. And uh, they were nice enough to reach out and uh, consider us for a review copy. There will be more on that later, because uh, they also did something else pretty sweet. <laughs> and uh, it does involve you if you were to pick up Verdant Sky, so that's going to be something to look forward to. But uh, just in a nutshell, if I had to tell you, based off of my channel, what to compare this to. Obviously, I haven't played it yet, but uh, from what I have seen and what I have read, you would take Stardew Valley, uh, sprinkle in the... Mm, what would we say from Animal Crossing? Sort of like the addictive, whimsical, uh, relaxing value. And then put in sort of like some uh, modern kind of like science engineering. Uh, sort of uh, kind of like the puzzle games we play, I guess. And mix that all together, and I kind of think that's what we have here. Uh, so the team behind it, it's uh, Howling Moon Software. They're up in Minnesota. That's uh, Beth and Andy, who you typically see uh, moving about on Twitter and whatnot. But uh, they, like uh, so many people, were heavily influenced by Harvest Moon, uh, Animal Crossing, uh, so on and so forth. But uh, to uh, kind of paraphrase everything here, Verdant Skies is a life simulation game born from a love for games like Harvest Moon and the desire to create something unique with modern gameplay and deep storytelling. Lose yourself in a lovingly hand-painted alien world of Virtus Primus. That's something that you should have been denoting here. Uh, it's a very unique artwork style. In fact, if you're not paying attention, uh, it kind of looks like there's an element of realism to it. And you're like, oh wait, <laughs> that's like, that is painted. And it's going to be interesting to see how that works out in the game. But uh, the world will be Virtus Primus. And ensure the success of the colony as you make friends and pursue romance with a diverse cast of characters. Demonstrate your mastery of the farming system by creating the perfect crop hybrid using the genetic splicing machine. So we're kind of stepping things up a bit. This is like Space Age uh, Stardew Valley, if you will. A concerned date behind Stardew Valley. His primary influence, also Harvest Moon. So if you were into Stardew Valley, this is going to draw inspiration from the same uh, game type, if you will. Or spend your days painting and making pottery. The possibilities are endless. With many natural skin tone options and tons of unique hairstyles and clothing choices, I think that's going to tie in a bit with Animal Crossing, don't you? <laughs> you can easily craft your perfect avatar. As you help to grow the colony, you will unlock additional datable residents. Split your time wisely between activities as you help to build the colony, gather resources, decorate your home, grow crops, grow spear fishing, cook interesting meals, befriend your fellow colonists, and maybe even fall in love. So, once again, you can kind of see all the little elements, like New Leaf. I didn't get to record and upload much of that. Uh, that is probably the most addicting game I have ever played. It was only broken uh, by Stardew Valley for me personally. <laughs> but uh, Andy and Beth have always been fans of games like Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, and Animal Crossing. Noticing that there wasn't an abundance of these types of games available, they wanted to create something to fill that gap. Although both have been active in the Twin Cities game development for years, Verdant Skies was their first opportunity to collaborate on a substantial project. Development began back in May of 2014. Uh, of course, they had several issues, uh, design iterations and engine changes. That all changed in March of 2015. After attending the Game Developers Conference together, Andy and Beth returned home with renewed inspiration to complete Verdant Skies. Uh, it is currently, they, they've actually been freakishly on schedule. Typically, <laughs> a lot of the indie games, uh, they come out and they're really awesome, but like the schedule is kind of like, ah, you know, you don't have that punctualness of like a AAA, like this is our date, we have to do it. And um, the game comes out uh, for release on Steam on Monday the 12th. I got this Monday the 5th. Uh, I've been super busy, but I've been looking forward to this uh, for quite some time. We're going to go ahead and get in on it right now. So um, let's check settings out here. Volume is not objectionable at all, which is nice since it's maxed out. Typically that's something we have to adjust. Uh, music volume there, we've got the blur, reflections, shadows. So you can see it's a bit artsy here. That's kind of cool. Uh, change. Simulate color blindness. No, we're cool without that. Slow reaction scenes. Uh, we'll see how it plays. So, uh, obviously we can't continue and load because we haven't done anything. <laughs> so we're going to begin a new settlement. No idea what we're getting into, but I certainly hope it's fun. A 
recruiter in a knockoff designer suit motions for you to come forward. Left click. Here's your contract. No need to read it all. So this is basically like our rover slash palm nut deal, right? Just the usual boring legal stuff. Only a few things to fill in and you will be all set to be a space colonist. What's your name? Should we, should we space age this? Like, wisdom. I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with the usual, right? So we'll run with that. Okay. Great wisdom. Now just initial here, 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 here. And once more time here. Looks good. Please watch your step as you board through space at speeds you dare not contemplate your new planet comes into view. It's just like the pictures. Oh no, there seems to be a problem with your spaceship. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> was not ready for that. Voila! Did you survive that rough landing? Yes, I did. Alright, so 7.30, it's summertime, we got $10. Good lord. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing. It's flashbacks are happening. Barely. The ship is a death trap. Um, I would actually say either one of those. Uh, <laughs> uh, she looks like she might be an engineer, so I don't want to offend her. But I'm glad you're not hurt. Looks like your ship wasn't so lucky. <laughs> you must be wisdom. We've been expecting you. Oh, I didn't realize I was there. I, I was too busy watching her. Rosie. I'm Rosie Martinez, the colony is mechanical and prophecy fulfilled. Actually, I'm a space mechanical engineer now. <laughs> yeah, that sounds much more interesting. So she's kind of the Maru, maybe. Rosie Martinez is the colony's talented mechanical engineer. Blind from birth, she has never let her disability hinder her adventurous nature. She has a knack for fixing things and possesses many patents for her original designs. Respected by her peers on the home planet, Rosie now uses her gifts to aid you in your colonization of various planets. To check on you and see if we could salvage any of your ship. Do you see any scrap laying around? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, hey, okay. <laughs> Shallow water, right? There we go. Oh, achievement unlocked! The pun in scrap. <laughs> Good, you found a piece of scrap. That'll come in handy. Awesome. Keep your eyes open for more wreckage as you explore this planet. We'll need it to build you a shelter. Follow me. There's someone you should meet. Tried clicking it. Uh, it's actually, that was a bird. Okay. Cool. Welcome to the administration building. Up here is the storage room. I guess it'll be doubling as your room until we can figure something else out. Hey, I found wisdom. They're <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's decked up. Rosie, what if I told you about yelling? I better go talk to her. She'll be sleeping here tonight. Why don't you take a quick look around? Just follow this all down to the office once you've checked out your room. Okay. Oh, but please don't touch anything. Huh. Alright, well, I'm staying here. Can't touch anything then? Really? Uh, okay. I guess I won't touch anything then, so not a terrible place. Let's head up this way. Um Jade. Okay, so this is Jade. Hello Wisdom. I'm an administrator Washington. You may call me Jade. I am responsible for the day-to-day -day administration of this colony. Mastermind behind the colonization of Virtus Primus, the colony's administrator Jade Washington is a force to be reckoned with. Direct and driven, Jade enjoys the company of like-minded people. Laziness or ineptitude is sure to land you on her bad side. Her motives are a mystery, but she, it is obvious that she is determined to make this endeavor succeed, no matter the cost. I'm pleased you were uninjured if Rosie mentioned that you already recovered a piece of scrap from your ship. 
not want me to be in here long. <laughs> Please continue to collect any pieces you may find. Eventually, you will need to reimburse the company for the damaged craft. What? She's not happy I'm saying that. Whether it was a malfunction or user error, you signed the contract. Technically, I didn't. It was your responsibility to read each line of the 200-page document to ensure you understood obligations before signing. Don't worry, Weezum. They can't be that expensive. Oh, but it is that expensive. Alright. I'm not liking this lady. Well, for now, here are some basic tools to get you started. I assume you will be able to ascertain their use. This is the Tom Nook beatdown kit. <laughs> awesome. As for communication, you will receive messages via the envelope icon at the bottom of the screen. Get some rest, colonist. Call me by my name, Jade. Tomorrow will be a busy day. Alright, go to sleep. Oh no. What she said to do. The whole world out here. Do I have mail? Welcome new pioneers. If you're reading this, you've figured out your interplanetary email system. If you're unable to read this message, please contact me directly. It's tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so, what was that? Now, do I go outside? What? Come on, man. I need more freedom in my... I was just in a... Really, you know? I was in a plane wreck. A spacecraft crashed. This is how you get treated. Only goes to bed at 817, Jade. Only doing it so I can get out of here soon. <laughs> you gain friendship the first time you talk to someone each day. That's a seed from Jade. There's much to be done. Go to the field I have marked on your map. Please plant these native seeds. Hopefully something valuable, girl. Hurry up, you are already behind my schedule. Okay. Well, Jade. I can't say I'm a fan of Jade. It's a pretty cool look. Um, oh, a field. <laughs> Alright. So the arrows are kind of going to be our, our friends here, I suppose. Is this scrap? There's the grain seeds. Okay. What did we do? We got robins. No seeds here. Maybe tomorrow. So we'll follow the arrows. I'm tempted to go fishing. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we're supposed to be, apparently. And Hoa Field. Alright. We do that. Did I get a hoe? Oh, it came up automatically. How did I? Wait. Okay. Oh yeah. Automation. <laughs> so we hold a field. What now? Select a seed in the seed chest. Is that the thing? Alright, we have bristle grain seeds. Uh, got sunfruit seeds. Got bristle grain seeds. Quality, quality. It's fertilizer. I don't have fertilizer, so I guess we'll take these, and sweet, automation. What do you want now, woman? Nice work, wow, a compliment. Water that field for a few days and maybe something will grow. If so, we can get a botanist assigned to our colony. Okay, heaven forbid, I don't know what she's so busy doing. <laughs> Alright, I've seen the watering, and it's such an improvement over the other games of this nature. You see that? I didn't have to, like, click and hold, or go to each one. It, it's like real life. So that's cool. And we'll put that back. And have new mail. Oh, snap. Okay. Rosie wants a workbench, huh? Let's see what this one is. What are the seeds? I go to the watering tank, get the hills more of the seeds. I lost track of this quest from all the arrows. Uh, let's see here. Native crop requisition from Planetary Pioneer Administration. Attention Pioneer, your first duty to ensure the success of the mission is to create a sustainable food source. Harvest at least one natively grown crop. Botanists will be assigned to the planet once you've proven that land can be cultivated. Well, it certainly looks fertile. So there we go. And Rosie. Hey, Wisdom, you're gonna need a workbench if you want to make it out here. 
I won't let you use mine. Bring some lumber to the 3D printer in the administration building. It will assemble the workbench for you in just a few hours. Okay, let's track that. But first, I might plant these, honestly. Uh, I'd like them to be organized a little better, but... Uh oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Uh, yes, I will place that here. Right. Oh, it's that woman again. Frick. Ah, uh, yes, please. Oh, good. Okay, no one knows it happened. <laughs> Sunfruit seeds. I'll take this. And I'll put it there. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that, and I guess we'll plant the rest of this stuff that we can. The sunfruit seeds. Awesome. I'll we'll grab the hose. We're gonna water it again. This hose is so awesome. <laughs> oh, what a glorious day! I hope you don't have to like. <laughs> I don't know. Get longer hoses or something. So, uh, we want to craft a workbench. And, uh, what is this? Flowers. Can you? I don't know what I should be harvesting or not harvesting. Um, I shall spearfish you. How does this work? Well, you have to click and hold, I guess. And it's the big one. Ow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Slow mover. Short. Intercept it. Ow. Oh, dusky salmon. What do I do with it? I don't know. But I got it. Oh, can I not fish anymore? I guess there's no fish to be had. They're on, Timmy. They know what's up. What is that thing? Frick are you? Need a special tool to enter. Okay. What was that? Uh, where are my arrows also? Where are they? I want me to get... I thought I needed to get lumber. Huh. So where's the 3D printer? Bring some lumber to the 3D printer. Yeah. Uh, I need... I need lumber, but the arrow said to come in here. So... Fancy place. Probably. <laughs> Get out of it. Um, and I also don't see a 3D printer. So... See you're hard at work, Jade. Keep it up. Colony. Colony believes in you. Is that a 3D printer? Industrial 3D printer. Okay. We need three, three pieces of wood. Let's go do that. We'll take it one one step at a time. <laughs> so I assume we find a tree and punch it. You yes, sir. Yeah. Sleep or eat food to regain energy. If you use all your energy, you'll pass out. Right? Oh, I see. So we can just... Oh, you can't take the whole thing. Is up, Rosie? I'm gonna axe her. Tell a lot about a person based on their favorite tool. Uh, what's yours? Well, I haven't gotten to use them all. <laughs> so... Uh... Say a wrench. Never leave home without mine. Awesome. We have so much in common. Mechanic tea. Alright, so. Did we get enough wood? We did. Rock on. Only needed three, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Look at us overachieving. Uh, so we need two hours. It's only 2.25. Uh, watering tank. Seed chest. Alright. Grinder. Uh, we've got a stain mixing station, okay. Fabric pattern machine. We've got a blueprint machine. We've got a lady probably coming to gripe at us for using a mini printer. The iron and scrap refrigerator. 3D printer. Be cool to have our own. An alarm clock. Huh. And a processor. Okay. So. We'll just let that thing work its magic. I assume we have to sleep here, so we just as well be 
out and about. Now, can I eat? Can I... What happened to my... My fish? <laughs> my dusky salmon. I don't feel like I can do anything. Um... Right now, is this food? Hard fruit? Awesome. Eat it. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. So let's find some more stuff. Flowers. Like blue flowers. <laughs> um, some seeds. Luna leaf seeds, very nice. Scrap, I believe it is. Awesome. Let's see here. We got more, uh, more farmland here. More Luna leaf seeds. What does this say? Construct a bridge to the east bank. We need stone, scrap, and water. Alright. Uh, so it must be telling me to go back and take my... Um, what do you call crafting table. Uh, I see food, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that. What is that? Red flowers. Okay, cool. Never know when you're gonna need to uh, charm old Jade with some flowers, I suppose. What is this about? Struct yourself a home! <laughs> what? And it takes all my money. Go figure. Awesome. So we'll get to live here, though. That's kinda cool. Shipping box. Alright. That. Town Plaza. I don't have that kind of cash. Uh, I might start getting some stone. What? Uh, let me eat this. Yeah, I guess I'll eat that one too. Alright, go ahead and uh, wheel away here. problem. Here we go. I'm trying to... What's happening? If I just hold down left click, it just moves automatically. <laughs> Alright, so my crafting table should be ready to go. We'll, uh, we'll roll with that here for a little while. The flowers. <laughs> awesome. So let's go in here, I guess, and grab this thing. All right, and take it. Oh yeah, craft workbench. All right, so we got that covered. Back we go, and no new mail. Awesome. Close that up, and <laughs> what is that? Okay. So we got a dull axe. Not very efficient, but it beats punching them. <laughs> Simple hammer. It's a lot of work. You can smash rocks, turning them into building material. Basic hoe. Tilling fields. Could be improved. Basic pick. Decidedly low tech way to dig for ore. A fishing spear. Uh, used to catch and harvest delicious fish. Grades there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like 15 fish. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 insects. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14 crops. Alright. So we've actually got a few more of them. I don't know what time I'm supposed to go to bed. Actually, I feel like I need food too. It's like, no one even bothers to like, tell you. They're like, hey, here's some food. You're gonna need it. <laughs> so, where could we find food? I don't know what time it gets dark. I don't know if anything evil comes out at night time. I don't know anything, man. A specimen jar. Okay. What's this? There's more scrap. Yellow flowers. Cool. Oh yeah, heart fruit. I'll have that for breakfast. Scrap. Should I just grab everything? I don't know. What the heck is that? It's like y it's like Yoshi with a it's Pokemon time, man. Uh, I don't even know. Um is that scrap over there? It is. I'll take that. I feel like we're gonna get assaulted here by something or someone. This is a huge field. Uh-huh. Awesome. 
So much to do, so little time, so much I don't know. Huh. Cawberries? Alright. Ooh, there's one of those nests. No, that's just the bird. Alright, well. I wonder. More scrap, awesome. And that plane was a piece of junk for sure. I don't regret my response at all. I think the birds are roosting, probably. Alright. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Should probably get back to our bed and see if we get griped out. Taking me here. Sweet, that's why. Oh, corn seeds. Awesome. And they're dwarf variety? That'd actually be pretty cool. Alright, what do we got? Lots of fish. Lots of, lots of fish, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, missed it. Too short. Uh huh, black hole bass. That sounds sweet. <laughs> Alright. More seeds, man. I'm liking it. Let, let's let's fish again. Gotta say we're doing pretty freaking good here for our our first ever fishing lessons. Now um, I'm assuming if things come out, it would be dark or midnight, and uh, we're certainly hearing both. So I'm thinking we're gonna seek safe haven here. But I wonder if the woman locked it on us. Seems like something she would totally do. It's probably an hour's board or something. Good. Got in. Let's. I guess we'll just go to bed. I don't really know what to do. Uh, yeah. Yes. Don't question it. Each time you fill your relationship bar, there's a new special event with that person. <laughs> Looks like those sheets are on fire. All right. So that restored our meter there. That's good to know. I'm thinking we're gonna go check out the house requirements. I want to get out of this place ASAP and spend all my ten dollars again. Let's see, I take these solar panels. Oh, I think I could. <laughs> Might be rude. I'm not sure. Kind of like that tree. I don't know if I'm gonna take it down. Or not. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Got mail. We should check that. Oh, build a house. Wow. Yeah, I, I kind of was going to, but... I would like to regain the use of my storage room. Please build yourself a home and move out. The plot has been assigned to you near the fields that you have been cultivating. Oh, wow. she's such a sweetheart. So let me check. Where is my... Where's my sign? Uh, that wasn't it. I ain't doing that. Jade, she can spend her money. This is my place right here, right? Yeah. So we've got the stone, we've got the scrap, we have the ten dollars, and we just need some lumber. So, can we get lumber out of this guy? What was that? What just happened over here? Can we harvest this guy? I've got lots of flowers. Um, I guess I'll take this tree out. This well. Awesome. Bats just come out? No, oh, they're sticks. Okay. <laughs> I was looking down at the lumber collector. Sweet. So we got quite a bit of lumber out of that. And I guess I'll build myself a house, Jade. Friendly and welcoming. And I'll tend to my crops, because, you know. Alright, so ten dollars, sure. Let's build it. Home sweet home, build the smallest house. Achievements unlocked. I like my little house. What's wrong with it? Not small, it's cozy. Change the style of your windows, doors, and house. Okay. Does it cost money then? Ooh. Stay away from me, Jade. What do you want? Come on. Want Jade? Let me 
talk to you. We will never get additional funding if we cannot find something to show for our efforts. What exactly is your effort, Jade? You just walk around and complain. Let's see here. Let me see what I can do to this side. Ooh. I kind of like that, actually. I want to see if there's a blue color. Ooh, there is. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll go with that color of blue. And can I... Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Subtly changing them. I kind of like that one. Yeah. My house, Jade. Paid for with my own $10. Huh. This house is awesome. Right. Let's see. Oh no. Uh, let's see what's after that. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah, you can do this too if you would work, Jade. <clears throat> I guess I'll go with the matching windows. Bars to keep Jade out. <laughs> cool. Let's try Jade. Do you like my house? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna plant some seeds. I don't know that I have to water in the rain. I would assume not, right? So, I don't want to deconstruct it. No. I do that every time. Why? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I want to place it. Put it right there. Awesome. Okay, so... Um, you know what, we got quite a bit of dwarf corn. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm taking this too, Jade. <laughs> My land. You know, the people that do stuff. Sweet. Oh, I have more? I'm getting tired. Come on. Uh, let's go get some more dwarf corn seeds. Look so... What's up, Rosie? You're not mean to me. I understand why we need to pack light. I just wish I could have brought more tools. Yes. I'm one of my own kind. Alright. More dwarf seeds. Dwarf corn seeds, that is. Get yeah, on. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, go. You know, I haven't even been in my house. Here I am. Worky, worky. Okay. Cool. Dwarf corn down. Uh, do I have a new litter? Yeah, okay. What's up with that? It's cool that the people continue to move while you're in that screen. Um, Sunfruit. Muscle grade. Leaf. Okay. Sure. Let's put this here. Oh man, I've got to water those. <laughs> you, you can totally tell. Not that it's a problem. I mean, this is a way to water. All games had that. Alright, so let's go in our home. Let's see what this says. Upgrade your house. Oh no. Huh. Why would I want to do that? This place is probably. Oh yeah, I don't need an upgrade. This is freaking best $10 house I've ever seen, man. What can we do in here? Oh yeah, there's my fish. That's awesome. <laughs> this is nice, man. This is really nice. Is this storage to you? Guess not. Oh wow. Processing time. Ooh. Oh yeah, man. Alright. Um sure. I'm cooking. I don't want to throw anything away. I'm keeping everything. Okay. All right, here we go. Character creation, man. All right, let's do this. Now, this might actually be a new episode. I think I'll probably divide it. So, uh, this has been our first Dale of Into Verdant Skies here. Uh, we've met Jade. She's really mean. We've met Rosie. She's really nice. Uh, we've got a house, we've got a little bit of food. This place is swanky, and we're about to get swanky ourselves. So I nearly clicked this in the uh, administration building, but I 
It's a free team. <laughs> so, I'm going to Kevin here. We're going to customize ourselves in the next episode. And I do hope I see you there. Uh, again, Bird and Sky is big thanks to the team for sending this out. I'm having a great time already. And it looks like it's only going to get better. So, stay tuned. I'll catch you back here in the next one. Adios.